It's Alma here for Video Wave, and we're still at the All Star Cafe. And I was just noticing that I kind of look like Christy Turlington. I mean, people tell me that, but uh, actually, I think I'm a little bit more beautiful. But anyway, we're going to move along here. Now, Bonnie is interviewing a band we got coming up next, the Upper Cross. Now, you know, they're from England, and they're there, you know, like the guys on Saturday Night Live, you know, the ones that wear the white hair, like George Washington, and they're very interesting. He's following me. I know he is. Anyway, here's Bonnie. Check the the interview out. It's really cool. For Video Wave, I'm Bonnie. This evening, speaking to Lord Andover and Lord Rockingham from the Upper Crust. And we must find how did the Upper Crust come together? Well, you know, we were all lounging about in complete idleness. And one day, we sent our manservants out to each other's estates with this message that it was time for the upper class to come together and to rock in a manner that proved that good breeding could rock harder than poor breeding, poor breeding which has spawned this genre of rock and roll, which is, was hitherto despicable, but we have exalted into an art form and also, around the time this was happening, we were walking home from a fox hunt, and we looked up in the sky. We and there walked down from anything. We beheld a gigantic hand, thus, thus, yes, in the sky. Yes, we which were, we interpreted. We're cynical people, but when we saw this giant hand gesturing this with a sign, we didn't know what it meant at the time, but it was either an indication that there were two outs in a baseball game. <laughs> it was a, either that, steal home or it was, you must rock. You must rock, <laughs> indeed. And, then, and since we already had a home which we didn't need to steal, we felt pretty sure it meant that we had to rock the entire world with a breed of rock and roll hitherto unrivaled. Well put. Yes. But the instruments, did you have the instruments? Did you find them? And how did you learn to play? Well, uh, ordinary rock bands go and obtain their instruments in these music stores, but we had them hand-carved to simulate rock and roll guitars. Yes, I have the only Fender Stradivarius in the world. It's not a Strat, it's a Strad. <laughs> and also, when it gets a bit dicey on stage, we have five little dwarves standing in each of our amplifiers, equipped with tiny little guitars, equipped to duplicate our solos in case we're botching them. Yes, yes. Anytime we go out of tune, these dwarves can rectify it because they're, they're vocalists as well and they're able to... But in case anyone's worried, they're very well-paid dwarves. We don't just put any dwarves out there either. Yes, yes, they, they receive the scraps from our table. Yes. <laughs> very fair. What about your uh, fellow peers, the gentry? Were they, did they find you shocking? Well, do we actually know anyone in our social class? I don't think we do. We do. No, we're too good for yes. our equals. We only know each other. We only deal with our, our, our inferiors because it makes us feel superior. So we don't talk to anybody who's actually our social equal. Right. Right. But the people below you, how are you? I mean, perhaps the ones that are adoring you the most, how does that work out for you? Are they well, poor? indeed. Yes, we receive adulation from them. Actually, we're trying to appeal to the lowest of the low, the people, the rabble, if you will, in order to eliminate this terrible middle class in between us and them. Good. Once America gets rid of its middle class, then we can move forward. And uh, we are forming a third political party called the Monarchy in the USA Party. So vote for us. It's the only candidate with five people running for the same job, all five of us, running for King of the United States. The Upper Crust, Rock and Roll and Social Responsibility as well. Let's look at their video and they'll tell us more about that right here on Video Wave. Back with Video Wave, this is Bonnie and this is Lord Vendover and Lord Rockingham. How do you do? First names, if I may ask, gentlemen? Well, I tell this to very few people, but my real given Christian name is Sidney Vichyssoise. But you may call me Lord Rockingham. You're honored here on Video Waves, you know, Sidney. 
and I am Lord, please bend over. <laughs> no idea what the first name of Lord Bender would be. Ben. Lord Ben, okay, thank you. Tell us I about someone is a fucking intellectual. I don't have a fucking idea. Who's ever addressed me by my first name? Nobody. Never. Tell us about the video, making of the video. Where were you? Did you enjoy it? Um, do you remember? Yes, uh, we had stand-ins do it because it was. Uh, altogether too menial for us to participate in the filming of our own video. So we combed the world for identical people and we had them stand in and we were quite satisfied with the result. Though we've also had stand-ins view it, so we haven't seen it ourselves. <laughs> we should it's tell the story of the vulture, I, th I believe. <laughs> the vulture. We, we wish to spare no expense in the making of this video and at one point it seemed desirable to have a vulture flying around overhead and we found a turkey, uh, uh, excuse me, a, a vulture wrangler, I believe is the term, who promised us his vulture could do just about anything in his own words. Right. But when the day of the filming came, even though we had a piece of raw meat on a human being that the vulture was supposed to nibble at, it refused. And the yes. motto is never hire a vulture or a vulture wrangler. Good points. <laughs> so, I bet if you out there in television cut out. <laughs> are thinking about are having you? a vulture wrangler, don't do it. <laughs> Doesn't pay. What about the making of the record? Did you have stand ins deal with the even more tedious? Yes, we, we actually we didn't play ourselves tonight. As a matter of fact, we are stand ins. Um, we don't even do our own video interview. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually sitting in a jacuzzi right now in Gestad, as I choose to pronounce it. I know most people don't pronounce the G, but I do, because I'm different. Well, don't worry, we'll be sure to get a copy of this interview for approval from the real Lord Bendover and Lord Rockingham. Oh, right. You've got a couple of other band members, is there, um, where are they now? And do they enjoy doing these kind of interviews? Yes, on or? our base we have the Italian rapscallion, Marquis Marc, the Marquis de Rock. Uh, um, what's that guitarist's name? I can't remember. The Duc de Sorchon. He uh, really destroyed his guitar tonight. We saw that. Yes, he does that every night. Yes. Yes. Well, he has he a, only a has huge it. truck full of identical guitars which he destroys every night. He actually has them made out of balsa wood, you see, uh, which is very expensive to make a guitar out of balsa wood because it's such an inferior wood that no one will make a guitar out of balsa wood. He pays extra to have it made badly so that he can appear to smash them night after night. It's quite insidious. And on drums we have the only member of the band who's not really titled, Jackie Kick Asses, who was uh, raised by she-wolves on a Greek island. Uh, and he took the last name of one of the she-wolves, uh, Kikasis. Kik it's, it's a Greek she-wolf. <laughs> yes. Mm. And his first name was Jack. <laughs> right. But, mm. uh, but the, this particular she-wolf ran a, a, a great shipping concern internationally. Which he inherited. He inherited the money. When the she-wolf died, she laid down and, and she said, you know, the lawyers arrived and then Jackie found himself like, as wealthy as any of us. You know? Exactly. It's just shocking, but there it is. The true story of Jackie Cahazas. And a true sight to behold, live in concert. Any parting words for us, favorite songs on the record, um, favorite places to play? Well, I'd just like to ask all the viewers, as a personal favor to us, to know your place. You know, too many of us Americans feel entitled to do just anything we want to, go anywhere, and it's important to retain a sense of one's proper sphere. That's my message. Couldn't have said it better, Rockingham. Thank you. Know your place. Well, I'd like to say that your place is right here, Saturday nights at 2.30 a.m., Channel 17. Sorry, had to take advantage, full advantage of the plug. Well Many thanks. Right. A true honor, indeed. Catch these guys live, absolutely, and watch for their video here once again on Video Wave. And just like to say thanks again.
できる。